Welcome back to the Coach Patilla Show. Now we're going to take questions from Twitter. Uh, Sports Mom 20 wanted to know, how do you get help for athletic recruiting? Well, Sports Mom is just like this. One of the first and most easiest things you can do is go to your, your high school coach and, and let them know that you're interested in uh, playing a college sport. After that, the second most important thing to do is contact your guidance counselor. Let, let your guidance counselor know that you want to play college sports as well because they'll make sure that you have your core classes, that you have the right GPA, and start letting you know where you're going to fit in as, as it relates to your academic opportunities um, at the college level. But letting your coach know, he can kind of give you the first evaluation and say, hey, Tobin, you're a Division I offensive lineman, or he can say, Lucimba, you're a Division II cornerback. And, and that way you can start um, focusing your sights on where those opportunities are going to be. A great question, Sports Mom 20. Sports Mom 18 has a great, a great question. She says, uh, are academics value, value as high as skill? That is a very, very, very uh, important part of athletic recruiting, I would say, because we, we only know about the best athletes in Akron. We only know about the best athletes in, in, in Cleveland. We only know about the best athletes in the state. We only know about the best athletes in the nation. And it can come across as that's the only thing that's important. Um, but the, the fact of the matter is, is you, can't get an academic, you can't get an athletic scholarship if you don't have the grades to qualify for it, number one. Um, number two, um, I, I would say for it's going to depend on the coach. I mean, it's similar to your experience. Um, you have one coach and staff that's focusing on you as a uh, potential true student athlete, and you have a next coach that's looking at you as a true athlete to fit into their whole farm system of players. So it's going to depend on the coach, and that's something you're going to have to uh, kind of fill out for yourself, Sports Mom 18. And we had another speed racer. Speed racer wants to know, um, how are your chances to get a scholarship with a low GPA? Um, when it comes to recruiting and, and you have a low GPA, one great system, one great thing about the uh, entire educational system is there's something for everybody. And if you have a low GPA, um, you can look at the junior college level because they are accept you at, with a 1.7 at, at that level. Um, and so you still have an opportunity to get things together for yourself academically. You can earn um, yourself an associate's degree. And if you're at the Division I level for junior college, you can get a full ride. So um, those things can work out for you there. So it is very important um, that you do understand there's something for everybody. And as long as you have a GED, you have an opportunity that you can uh, play at the, uh, the next level. In regards to GPA um, qualifications, okay. what is the range or as low as you can go to still be accepted into a four-year college as opposed to a junior college level? That's a, that's a great question. And uh, what she's asking is, how do you qualify for a scholarship? Well, and and that, that's a two-part question. One part of that question has to do with your GPA. And the other part of that question has to do how well you perform on the ACT. So on the lowest scale, a 2.0 GPA in all of your core classes, uh, you're going to need a 22 ACT in order to qualify for an athletic scholarship. And that's what a lot of elite athletes run into nowadays is that um, because the state minimum requires you to have a 1.0 to play high school football. So you're playing high school football with a 1.0, and now it's time to go to college. And, and just maybe, for some reason, you find out you need to buckle down on your books, you raise your GPA up to a 2.0, but now you still need to get a 22 on the ACT. And uh, so that's why it's, it's very important for, for student athletes to understand you got to hit your books hard. you got to hit your books hard because if you want that D1, D2 scholarship offer, you're going to have to have at least a 2.0 GPA and a 22 on the ACT. Um, the last thing you need to do that I think everyone needs to do is go to noblesteps.com, 
or just call 855-952-1577. That's toll free. And, and get Guide to Athletic Recruiting and Career Education. I authored this book. It has everything you need for, that, for athletic recruiting. It is uh, endorsed by Coach Holman Wiggins, who is a wide receiver coach now at Memphis University. Um, and also Joanne Shabazz, who is an academic and career advisor at the University of Michigan. Um, this book has everything you need, and whether you have uh, every college in the country looking at you like old Tobin did one day, when everyone wanted his services to open up those holes, um, or you, you're a middle-of-the-road athlete like myself, you're competent enough to play, you have the desire, it's motivating for you, but you still need to understand what is the process and, and how can I go about getting myself into a scholarship. Uh, Guide to Athletic um, Recruiting and Career Education is, is the best choice for you. Um, if, if you can't afford the book, one of the best things you can do is go to the Akron Public Library. You can go to the Cleveland Public Library and, and get yourself a library card. Uh, they have the book on the shelf, which I'm always a little proud of there, uh, and they always restocking it. So thanks so much for tuning into the Coach Patilla Show. Make sure, if it's Tuesday, and you're a little scruffy on the beard, you're a little scruffy in the, on your neck, you go to Transformations Barbershop at 1479 South Hawkins Boulevard. You're definitely going to run into Mr. Carmine Robinson, and he's always got someone in the chair, so you may want to call ahead. And, and the number there will be 234-678-9929, or you can hit him on the hip on his cell phone at 330-573-0399. Tobin. Thank you so Thank much you, for coming by. I appreciate, appreciate you. It. Thank you. Hey, this is a man of man here. He's a great role model. He is what being a student athlete is all about. Someone who had the vision. Someone who, had, who saw far beyond just what could happen between those four lines on the football field. He wanted to know what he can do better in his community, what he can do as a business owner, and he's doing it now. But it took him the foresight to say, I want a degree plan that's going to get me there. So, Tobin, thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in to the Coach Patilla Show. And if you didn't know, I'm Coach Patilla. Thanks for tuning in.